And too many coaches are focused on the hack, the trending audio, the what's the template to use for this, what's working on Instagram to grow followers without really understanding the problem that they have. Getting more followers doesn't solve the problem. The answer doesn't lie in more followers. It lies in engaging with your current followers better. By focusing on trying to get more followers instead of the current ones you've got, it's like a PT in a gym, ignoring everyone on the gym floor, going out onto the street, asking people if they want to do a PT session and join this gym. And you'll be recognized as a coach, not just somebody who makes funny videos. The best coaches in the industry are not the ones with a million followers. How to get more Instagram followers. So we are Dan and Mike from Vices and Banter. Now business and banter, but we can't change the YouTube channel name um, because it's already taken. It's really annoying. Isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Is it? Frustrating. Um, oh. Yeah. But we're here to help you do online fitness business. In any way we can, I'm going to have to move this microphone a little bit. Who's taken that? Someone who's got good banter and runs have a business. Have they though? <laughs> I don't know. Well. Because we haven't. We haven't, so. for sure. We'll have, to, we'll have to message them and see if they'll give it to us. Um, but today we're going to talk about uh, coaches' obsessions, the coach obsession with wanting more Instagram followers. There's not a day that goes by where I don't think a coach that says or thinks, oh, I just, if I just have more followers, I'd be all right. If I just have more followers, I'd have a bigger business. If I just have more followers, I'd have more clients. Um, and that's not always true. That is not always true. And we kind of went over this a little bit in the members group not that long ago, um, discussing how you need to look at the amount of Instagram followers you have and how many of those people have signed up with you as a client. Because let's say, for example, you have a thousand followers and you only have five clients the laws of averages then would suggest that to get up to 25 clients, you would need 5,000 followers, which I think is quite a stretch. And I think will be far more difficult than people realize uh, in this day and age with that. And, and, you know, in terms of Instagram following, it's, it's not always easy to kind of build. Um, and too many coaches are focused on the hack, the trending audio, the what's the template to use for this, what's working on Instagram to grow followers without really understanding the problem that they have, which is Michael. Um, the problem that they have is that they don't know how to monetize their current followers. So getting more followers doesn't solve the problem. Um, the answer doesn't lie in more followers. It, it lies in engaging with your current followers better. And from that, you will still generate more followers in the long run. Neither of us are sat here. You're, again, it's a bit of a clickbait hook with how to get more Instagram followers, which is rich considering we've got 10 and 8, whatever, is it? Eight, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I'm nearly 11, so. <laughs> I couldn't let <laughs> that lie. I, was about to say, yeah, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, like, I couldn't speak about it away. No, but like, it, also as well, within that, we probably have about 3,000 that probably follow both of us. So it's a combined, say, 15, 16, really. Yeah. So like, we're not sitting here, sitting here with 500,000 followers, million followers going, oh, here's how to get more Instagram followers. We're actually going to say the opposite of that and go, you don't need more. The caveat being, if, if you've got 300, yeah. Is it going to increase the likelihood that you're going to be able to sign somebody up if you if you have a th over a thousand? Yeah, of course it is. Um, but anything above a thousand, thousand and a half, stop worrying too much about the 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 reach on things and and getting new new sets of eyes. And certainly, I've definitely got experience with people with this is no joke: hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, five hundred thousand that are still obsessed with getting more followers. You will never need any more followers than that. If you've got 100,000 um, followers and you've got 40 clients, do you think you can get 100 clients out of the 100,000? You would like to fucking think so. Mm -hmm. so. So do that one then. Instead of going, I want to go from 100 to 200, that's not solving no issue. Your issue isn't eyes on your page at 100,000 or wherever you are. Your issue is no connection to the audience. It's the page. It's the page. <laughs> the eyes are on the page. Something like that. Yeah. So it's how to monetize that. So if you are over a thousand followers, I would say stop focusing on what's growing the page. Start focusing on what's connecting to those thousand plus people. And, and this is the thing that you see it time and time again. Uh, and it's... And it's always from people who don't want to, um, you know, send DMs to people that watch their stories. They don't want to post personal life on their stories. They don't want to post behind the scenes. They take regular breaks from Instagram. Um, it's, it's those sorts of people who then go, oh, I need more followers. And I'm always like, no, because you're going to 
draw attention to a page that is not optimized and it isn't getting you to a place where you're going to be able to connect with those people anyway. Connection is the biggest thing. And I've got a client who's probably got, I think he's got two and a half thousand and he does 10K months, right? 10K months. He's got 65 going on to 70 clients. He does need to grow his following because he's at a point where everything he's doing is optimized with that page. If he grew a thousand followers, well, chances are he's probably going to grow, say, another 20 clients. It, the, the maths adds up there. And it, and it just frustrates me when I hear coaches say it. They blame their lack of progress on number of followers. Oh, my, my audience isn't engaged. It's not. I need more followers. No, the engagement is the problem. Not grow more followers. It's that you're not engaging any of the ones that you currently have. So we've never had, like I said, big audiences. We built our business seven figures from that audience, from having, and again, arguably more recently, we've changed our audience. It's, it's actually a lot smaller because a lot of our fat loss um, audience don't follow us anymore. Probably aren't interested in it in what we do as much anymore. But it hasn't stopped us building an email list of thousands of people. That's also how you're going to grow. That's also how you're going to engage an audience. So many people are obsessed with followers. And we've seen people, like I said, with half a million followers, 400,000 followers. The email list has got about 200 people on it. So you've actually only got 200 people that are bothered then about you. That's, that's actually the number that you should be focused on. And I'm big on email lists. Again, some of my clients watching this will fucking know that and they'll be laughing to themselves now. I believe that your email list is the true number of people that you have that are interested in what you do. That's my general opinion. I think if you're going to take one of those two numbers and metrics, that's the one you should use. I recently had a client. She grew to 350K followers. She's maybe gone even higher than that now. But the most impressive thing was her email list is now at 30,000. Is it? That's Rachel, the impressive. Rachel. Yeah. That's the impressive thing is that she set up a lead magnet. She set up her page in a way whereby once her ideal niche had found her, they wanted the free thing that she had on offer. She's now got 30,000 people on email list. She sells out a group coaching within 10 minutes. Did it within 10 minutes, 150 spaces within 10 minutes. That's what everyone wants. I don't care about the followers. You want that. That's what you want. That's what you need. And it comes from having those followers, of course. But if that Instagram page and, and her profile and her niche and her brand wasn't set up properly to engage those people, it wouldn't have happened in the same way. Because we know people, like I said, who've got more than that, who couldn't get anywhere close to those numbers. And I can't stress it enough that you need to work on engaging with your current followers more. Why aren't people watching your stories? Why aren't they reaching out? And there's always an answer. And the answer is always because you've gained those followers doing shitty things like following thousands of people, or it's because you've maybe bought them, which again, stupid if you have, whatever. We, you know, I think that was something that was going around years ago, wasn't it? That kind of thing. I think people nowadays realize that's probably not the smartest thing to do. Um, but also it could be because you had a viral video that went crazy and it brought loads of followers in, but now you don't post anything like that anymore or it's just one video and it went crazy. And there's nothing wrong with trying to engage those people and it just takes time. Again, something that coaches are notoriously shit at is giving things time. So you've worked with Jack, for example, had 100,000. His story views climbed back up slowly over time. It didn't happen overnight. Things don't happen like that overnight. There are ways that you can do it in terms of like bringing those people back around. And one of the ways, so we'll go through some of the ways we think you, you can do that. But one of the ways is to start posting more personal stuff. People connect with you on a personal level. So all those people that maybe you've got to follow you because you did follow, follow back, you know, again, all that sort of stuff that was around a long time ago. A lot of people that I see come from some mentorships that recommend that. They might have 3,000 followers, but they get like 100 story views. I'm like, I look at that and I'm like, what the hell were they fucking teaching you? What's going on? Because I would expect, because we sometimes get people between 15 to 20% of the following, we can get story views that high. And you look at some of these people coming in and they're like, they're on the floor, like 3% of people. I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? And it's always because they repost loads of crap on their story and they don't post anything personal and nothing personal on their page. It's all generic. You need to go back to basics and connect with people on a human level, which again is going to require you to put your personal life out there and engage with those people that actually engage with those posts around your personal life. This is the first thing. So <clears throat> if, it, if it were me signing up to a coach, what would I look for in a coach? Would I look for... And you're called DM probably. Yeah. Would I, would I sign up with somebody who called DM me? No. That's one. Two. If every single reel was waving five pounds of fat around or with a microphone on the end of a wooden spoon, um, would I sign up with that coach? No. Might I find the videos humorous or engaging? Maybe, possibly. Um, enough people give it a follow, put it that way, there's people with a lot more followers than us. But when you're asking somebody to part with their money, who are they most likely to part money with? The person who looks like the best coach or the person who's the best content creator? Now, don't get me wrong. As a coach, you are in part a content creator because that's the marketing avenue of your business. 
The reason why people go wrong is when they're just optimizing for growth. They're not optimizing for engagement of those new followers. If they post reels that are playing the game a little bit to grow, you also need to intersperse it with personal, professional, client wins, testimonials, but those are not the things that help you grow. Because when you're taught, when you've got a good video, post very similar videos off the back of it to try to push it up. I would actually say, if you get a good video, then post more social proof. The new people coming in get to see that. And you'll be recognized as a coach, not just somebody who makes funny videos. The best coaches in the industry are not the ones with a million followers. They're not. The ones with the most clients are not the ones with a million followers. They're not. They're the ones with a moderate following who know how to monetize it because they're very, very, very good at their job. They get results, they know what they're doing, and I'm going to trust them with my money. I'm going to trust somebody with hundreds of results with 4,000 followers than the person with 500,000 followers with no results who makes funny videos all day, every day. And the pitfalls of growing to that, and I'm going to call this now, in 12 months' time, some of their accounts will be dead. The reason why they will be dead is because it's the same videos over and over and over and over and over again. How many times do you have to see the same video before you get bored of it? Let's just say in six months' time, I've followed this person, I'm bored of that video. Now, because there's so many followers that have joined, not all of them will unfollow. Some of them will, but not all of them. They just won't engage. So now you're stuck with 500,000 followers and nobody's engaging because they've seen your videos over and over and over again. They're bored of it. And now Instagram recognizes that you've got a large amount of followers, but, but nobody's engaging. You've got a lot of people there, but your engagement's really low. So what happens to the reach of your post then? Well, it goes down because they're not seen as a valuable post anymore. So I'm going to call it now that in 12 months, not everybody, but in 12 months time, a lot of people who have grown to viral levels will have dead accounts. I have seen it. I had, um, I had somebody reach out who was an ex-Love Islander. He had 500,000 followers, um, three clients. And I had to bluntly say, which I did on the call, I said, respectfully, you're irrelevant now. Um, you got 500,000 people followed you because you were on a TV show five years ago. So they were interested in you then. They haven't unfollowed you, but they're not interested in your coaching now. You're just some guy from Love Island, respectfully, mm -hmm. back then. The same thing happened. So what you think is going to lead to success, you've got to be really, really careful. And, and there's always two ends of the spectrum to this. Like, like we just said, there's, there's my client who's you know, two and a half thousand followers, 10K months. I've got two of those actually. Just thinking about, just remembered. Because I give the same advice to them, which is, look, you are going to need to improve your content. You know, we are going to need to push for followers. And on the other end of the spectrum, you've got people like that, half a million, can't get a client at all. And both of those groups need to look at what the other people, other ones doing and do more of that. So those guys that are doing really, really well, they post loads of social proof, get amazing results, talk about their coaching, get loads of referrals. Um, and, and I just think people get sucked down this rabbit hole of more, 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 more all the time. It's the, it's the, I suppose it's the world we live in now. It's all that sort of stuff, especially with social media. Um, and I just want to emphasize the point that having an audience is absolutely fucking pointless if, unless they're engaged. They have to be engaged with what you do. And as we've discussed, there's things that engage people and it's personal stuff, it's results. It's can this person get the result that they're, that they're talking about? And it's also telling people regularly that what you do. I think not, too many of these content creators don't tell people what they do. They just talk about fitness. But they don't actually explain that they help people, they coach them, that they have a service and that they have all this stuff that they can do. It's just share my video, like my video. That's all they care about. Don't get lost down the rabbit hole of trying to grow more followers without looking at the real, real problem, which is, are you actually engaging the ones that follow you now? Because the ones that follow you now have put their hand up to say, I'm interested. Like, they're right there. And I explained this, I used this analogy the other day. By focusing on trying to get more followers instead of the current ones you've got, it's like a PT in a gym, ignoring everyone on the gym floor, going out onto the street, asking people if they want to do a PT session and join this gym. Well, there's people in there already struggling with stuff, in the gym using the equipment that you know how to use that you won't talk to. That's the, that's the equivalent of what you're doing. You're trying to drag people into the gym, give them peace. It's like, just think about what you're doing. There's people who put their hand up, go talk to them, be a human, be fucking sociable. Stop hiding away and trying to find, find more followers or create new content. 
these people have told you that they like what you currently do. That's why they hit follow. So on that note, it's funny that you bring that up because it's really close to analogy that I was about to make, really close. Because I was going to say, how would you get people um, to buy from you if you're an in-person PT? Your gym's got 400 members. What would you do? Well, you'd probably chat to more people. You'd engage the people that are in that gym. You wouldn't need the gym to get 800 members, 1,200 members, 2,000 members. If you've got a client base of 10 out of 500 members, you wouldn't need the gym to get 1,000 members for you to get 20. You would work with what you got. And that's exactly what you need to be doing online. You work with what you've got. You work within your gym. Show those members, those people that are following you, why you're the best coach for them, who you work with, what your USPs are, and engage with them. Just the same as you would do in person. Morning, mate. How's training? How's the missus? Good weekend. Just like you would do in person. That PT is the fullest PT. You know it is. Mm -hmm. That's what you do online. That's it. Yeah, that, and that PT wouldn't go in going, here's my packages. Do you want us to sign up? You would go, hi, mate. You right? How's it going? Oh, yeah, this is how you use that machine. Oh, let me fix it for you. Here you are. Oh, that's broken, is it? Yeah, I'll sort it out. It's just chat. It's just general chat like that. And, and the equivalent, like using that analogy, the equivalent there is that most PTs in that situation go and sit in the fucking office and don't train anyone. And they just hide on their phone and they just sit in there. I've seen, again, I've seen it. I've seen PTs moaning about, oh, I haven't got any clients, but they sit in their office, don't fucking go talk to people. You're doing the same on your Instagram. If you're not posting your stories, you're not doing any sort of DMs, you're not speaking to anyone who wants your stories, you're not trying to engage them with polls, and anything, you're doing the same thing. You're doing the same thing. You're looking all the wrong places. So there you go. That was our clickbait title from that. Um, but yeah, if you want more and you need more help, then you can send us the word BB8 and you can find out the eight things that you need within your online fitness business to grow effectively. And guess what? It is not get more Instagram followers. So to get those, send one of us the message BB8 and we'll fire that right over to you. Let's do the actual CTA to the one that we agreed on before. Uh, <laughs> and message us the word BB Roundup. <laughs> Just went for it. Just went for it straight away. It was good though, so we can use it. Yeah, we one. can use it. You can clip that out and you can use it. Let's do it again. Do it Start again. For the BB roundup. You do that one. Yeah. Uh, oh God. Go on. Uh, Press on. on. Straight in. So we covered all of these topics and more at our event this year. Guest experts plus us, the best ones. If you want that seminar for free that people paid for, message me or Dan the word BB roundup or one word BB roundup or one word. We will send it you. Absolutely free. So send us either of those and you'll get it. So those who are watching the YouTube video, just seen behind the scenes of how to make sure that you can get little clips into your YouTube, uh, into your reels that you use from YouTube videos. So there you go. You guys got the, the behind the scenes. Look. Send us anything. Just messages. Just messages. We'll send you something because it is us in our DMs, not some sort of crazy VA. So yeah, have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And